The Colbrin Bible is the first manuscript covering the archaic events described in the Christian Bible. Along with other unexplored episodes of human history that had never been transcribed into current texts, it consists of 11 books that narrate an enlarged version of human genesis. Beginning with those who walked this earth in remote times, before Adam and Eve came into existence, and even the great pharaohs of Egypt. Five books that are part of the Colbrin Bible were written by Celtic Druids after the death of Jesus while six other books were written by ancient Egyptian scholars and scribes after the Hebrew Exodus. The interpretation of fallen angel in Colburn's Bible is contrary to the common belief of the angelic being, and instead refers to mortals who had married the daughters of Adam and Eve and had descendants together. These men were descendants of a highly advanced society that had survived in time by taking refuge underground. Such refuges have been found in Cappadocia, Turkey, and elsewhere in Malta, where it is clear that a human group that was associated with priests of some sort survived cyclical natural disasters that changed geography and climate of the world. These events that struck these sons of God, as they are called in Colbrin's Bible, were seen as divine punishment for human calamities. Some scholars who have studied this Bible have related these facts to the legendary civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria. Cultures annihilated by natural disasters The story of how this bewildering script overcame the test of time is also surprising. It began with Joseph of Arimathea, who succeeded in his rescue mission within the Great Library of Alexandria. When Julius Caesar besieged the city, he showed no mercy for the invaluable knowledge contained in the world's most famous library at that time and more than 700,000 scrolls were burned. But fortunately some were saved and dispersed throughout the world to other places of knowledge. Among the rescuers was Joseph and the followers of Jesus, who rescued vital knowledge and transported it to Great Britain from Judea. The manuscripts were secretly preserved inside the Abbey of Glastonbury in the county of Somerset, southwest of Great Britain, for hundreds of years until the place caught fire in 1184 under mysterious circumstances. Fortunately, most of the texts were transcribed into thin sheets of bronze and stored inside containers with a copper coating, remaining intact after the fire had died out. After this tragic event, the books were called the Bronze Book of Great Britain and later added to another collection of texts preserved by Celtic Druids who had advanced knowledge in fields such as astronomy, religion, medicine, mathematics and together, this collection of sacred knowledge now forms the Colburn Bible. Through Joseph of Arimathea, it is believed that this Bible has direct connections with the teachings of Jesus. Today, you can freely access the contents of the Colburn Bible. This being possible because of the great change humanity is experiencing right now. Those who care for the manuscript are convinced that the events to come will be decisive for the future of humanity and this knowledge is indispensable to give meaning to human existence. The Colburn Bible is related to the changes of era that have occurred in the past by the influence of a celestial star that we know as Nibiru. It was in his wake that the Great Flood occurred and other events notorious in antiquity in a parallel with the indicated by the Mayan prophecies. Contrary to what has always been said, recognizing that Nibiru has been the cause of natural disasters that hit the planet in a cyclical way gives us a new perspective against stories such as the Great Flood. It links this devastating event recognized by countless cultures around the world to an astronomical cause that can be explained with the technology that exists today. A situation that has also aroused great interest in the public this revelation that Nibiru has been the cause of the Great Flood offers an at least intriguing perspective that gives a more rational explanation than that told by official history. With the rise of communications today, there is a widespread idea that the Sun forms a binary system with another star passing in its orbit around the Sun every 2,800 years. 
Having a mass three times greater than that of Jupiter, its gravitational field generates a strong influence on the tides, the volcanic activity and the climate of our planet. There is no doubt that all the effort made by the Vatican Observatory is aimed at anticipating the return of the Star of Bethlehem, which is none other than Nibiru. The same thing that started the Christian era will be what put an end to it. The Colbrin Bible calls Nibiru the destroyer and announces that this will happen again in the near future. It is one of the earliest texts related to biblical events attested by religious institutions and remains as a source of knowledge that can help us understand the causes that shaped humanity.